what you're seeing is the first time that connected vehicle technology is being used to make it safer for the school children to get to school. And how to do that safely and efficiently is just a role for technology. A couple of years ago when we first sat down and started talking with Applied Information about the Stop Arm Notification Project, it was mentioned about priority for safety vehicles for fire trucks and the thought was, was could we do this for school buses? And what would that look like? My initial thought was, okay, so we'll be able to, of course, reduce fuel cost, but at the same time, I thought, well, we could probably be able to get our students to school and uh, back home a little quicker. This is the promise of connected vehicles. What it allows the school bus to tell the traffic intersection, I'm bringing kids, this is where I am, and this is how fast I'm going. And that signal not only goes to the traffic intersection immediately in front of it, but all the intersections down the road. You can safely clear the pedestrians out the way, safely clear the traffic, and make it possible for the school bus to go straight through without stopping. As we did the driver interviews, the one driver, he'd explain to his children on the bus, this is his magic school bus could just seamlessly not only get through the traffic, but make all the traffic flow with them, which makes a safer and more efficient ride. We saw a reduction of 13.3% in overall travel times. We saw a remarkable reduction in unscheduled stops, so 40.4% reduction in stops. With the reduction in stops, we saw a slight increase in speed, and that was approximately 18%. Fuel consumption, as well as emissions, we saw a reduction of 10.4%. Just a 10% reduction in fuel savings across almost a thousand buses, you are going to have significant cost savings over the course of an entire school year and really help improve the bottom line and budget. We started down this road, got everything underway. Well, about that time, we hit probably one of the worst driver shortages that I think any of us in this industry has experienced. We noticed once we got the results back that this was something that could be really viable to be able to reduce driver numbers of what we actually needed. If we we're able to run it efficiently and get there quicker, we could actually do a double back and be able to run a second run, say, for an elementary school. And that's one less driver that we need at that elementary level. We're quite proud of the collaboration that's happened that has made this possible. And that's where I'd really like to call out, in the first instance, the Fulton County program. We've got our partners in Kimberly Horn, who are the independent consultants. We've got IC buses, we've got Bluebird buses. And the city of Alpharetta, we're an early adopter city of the technology in their traffic intersections that allowed the traffic intersections to receive messages from paramedics and fire trucks and so forth. Symmetra Traffic's Temple, who provided the implementation in the field, HM Data. And this was a group of people who collaborated on trying to deliver the promise of making the children trip to school more efficient and safer. It's not something like we think of the Jetsons, but it's a reality now. And we can see it come to life. It's the first step. What we've done here is the first step to this project. What we need is help from all the different municipalities around. Until today, it was, this is what could happen, this is what might happen, this is what the possibilities might be. It was all intangible. Now we've got hard numbers, hard facts, hard calculations, because it's a win, 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 win situation is what the data showed and that's what's so powerful about today. And so this starts the hard work of the rollout program is to turn this into a broader success that started right here in Fulton County.